welcome back again today we are going to understand about the docker and how we can dockerize our asp.net core app in today's session we are going to cover the containers and the containerization understanding what docker is and also learn about the docker image and the docker file then we will understand the difference between the docker containers and the virtual machines then we will find out the support for the docker into the dotnet core apps and then benefit of using docker in dotnet core apps and finally we are going to be learn how we can install the docker into your system windows os or mac os and then dockerize your asp.net core app so let's start so containers is a portable and the self contained unit of software that includes everything needed to run an application including the code dependencies runtime tools setting and libraries using containers developer can ensure their code runs reliable and consistent regardless of the underlying infrastructure containerization is the process of creating and managing the containers this technology has changed the way of the software is developed deployed and managed in the recent past years by providing developer with a lightweight and the isolated environment for applications this not only enhanced the application scalability and the portability but also allowed it business to build and deliver the application quickly and effectively so with the help of diagram let's try to understand the dockerization process we have one docker file it is nothing it is a text file that contains a set of instructions and commands for build a docker image docker image as we all know it is a self contained read only file that act as a template or blueprint for your creating a docker container it is only a blueprint you can see which will generates or help us to create a docker container so basically docker is a open source container management system that enables developer to develop run test and deploy their application in a lightweight virtualized environment that we called as a docker containers so let's try to understand the difference between the docker containers and the traditional virtual machines so if we categorize between the different architect so docker containers share the host operating system kernel they are suited for suitables that wants to be run the multiple application over a single os whereas virtual machines run on a hypervision that emulates a entire operating system including the kernels they are suitable for the application or the server that requires a separate dedicated os system flavors moving towards the resource utilization containers are more lightweight than the vms because they do not require a separate guest os or you can say the operating system multiple container can run on a single host using the host sharing efficiency whereas the virtual machines has their own guest os which consumes additional resources and limit the number of vms that can be run into the single host and moving towards the isolation and the security level containers provides the more process level isolation meaning each container is isolated from the other on the same host whereas virtual machines offer stronger isolation by providing a full isolation at the os level itself that makes that makes basically vms more suitable for running the application that require more security and the software compatibility issues moving toward the portability docker containers are highly portable since they encapsulate all the necessary dependencies with the container image containers can easily moved from one location or one environment to the different environment or you can say the cloud platforms whereas virtual machines require a dedicated os which makes us difficult to moving from one environment to other which makes it's less portable than the dockers talking about the boot time containers can be initiated within a seconds whereas virtual machines take some minutes some time to initiate because they have their dedicated os that will be updated over the time docker has support in esp.net core projects you can also add docker when you are creating your projects or you can also add docker support later on into your existing apps also there are two options while you are creating your dotnet core application there is a option where you have to be choose your container whether you want a linux container or the windows container and later on you can also switch from linux to 
windows and windows to linux vice versa from the menu options that vz studio provides us okay so basically docker has a really good spot in for the sp.net core, core projects so moving towards the benefit of the docker in using with the sp.net core application so first one is the portability so docker allows us you to package your ASP.NET Core application and its dependency into the self-contained and the isolated container. These containers can run consistently across your different environments such as machines, testing servers and production servers. This portability simplifies the deployment and reduces the chance of the environment related issue. Right? Moving towards the second benefit that is the scalability, Docker makes it easy to scale the ASP.NET Core application with the help of container. Platforms such as the Kubernetes, you can automatically scale the number of containers based upon the application demand. The flexibility allows the application to effectively handle the different workloads. And then Docker's provide us the debugging support in the container also you can also debug your ASP.NET Core application running in the Docker container using the VG Studio or the VG Studio code. Debugging in a container allows you to step through your code and diagnose the problem in your container environment also. Next one is the container registry and the integration. ASP.NET Core projects can be published to a container registry such as the Docker Hub and Azure Container Registry to store and distribute Docker images. This way, application can be easily shared with the others or you can deploy it into the different environments. And then is the dependency management. Docker simplifies the dependency management for your ASP.NET Core projects. You can simplify the required dependency and their version in the Docker file to ensure consistent and the reproducible builds. This helps avoid the conflict and the compatibility issue with the different component of your application. And then the Docker Compose integration. Docker provides uh, Compose basically provides a way to multiple container that works together your ASP.NET Core application that further can use the Docker Compose file to describe the service networks and the volumes required for your application and any dependency. This simplifies the process of running multiple container together. Next is your environment specific configuration. ASP.NET project often use the environment variable and config configuration that provides to dynamically configure all application based on the environment in which it is deployed. If you are working with the Docker, then you can set these environment variable at the container creation time or via the Docker compose file also, making it easy to configure your application for different environments. And then is the multi-stage builds. ASP.NET Core provides also the multi-stage builds so you can optimize your Docker image size. You can compile your application with the different build images and copy only the desired output file into the final runtime image. Next is the DevOps integration. Docker fits well into the DevOps workflow, enabling the continuous integration and the continuous deployment CICD pipelines using some of the popular tools like the Jenkins, GitLabs, Azure DevOps. DevOps can automate the build, test and deployment processes using the Docker images for the faster and the more reliable deployments. Next is the version control. Docker images can be added to the version control system along with the ASP.NET Core projects. That means Docker files and the application dependencies can be tracked, making it easy to roll back to the previous version if necessary. It also enables you the consistent and the rebuild and deploy your application at any time. Next is the security and the isolation. Docker containers provides isolation between your ASP.NET Core application and the host environment, making it, it more difficult for vulnerabilities and the misconfiguration to affect the underlying system. Containers are also resourceful, containerized, and the appropriate security measure can be configured to mitigate the risk. So these are the some benefits that Docker's provide us with when we are using it with the ASP.NET Core apps. Now moving towards how you can install the 
docker on your windows so simply go to the google search for the docker desktop then you will get the first link where you have to be click on it and when you click on it you will reach to the docker desktop site where you have to be download it based upon your os that you are using i am using the windows os so i download it and click on the install on your setup and when you click on it the run setup it will ask for some configuration like you have to use the ws tool instead instead of the hyper v version and also it is based upon your need whether you want to be add a shortcut or not right now when you click on next you will see some of the like uh, follow through the progress process when you click on the installer it will unpacking the files and then it will start installing those uh, components that require docker desktop right and finally when installation is completed you will see this message and then you have to be close your uh, setup and restart the system so that our docker desktop services are running right so this is the view that you are currently looking that will be view on your when you run your docker desktop application this is something you will see for the very first instance of the docker desktop right now if you are not able to see this if you are seeing any error then it means you have some error into your installation one of the common error is you don't have the linux system installed right if you found the same error so you don't need to be do anything open the cmd window normally and install this run this command wsl space dash dash install this will install your linux system into your os and it will ask for your username and the password and you are good to go then you have to be again restart your systems once your wsl is installed means your linux system is installed then you are good to go to uh, use the docker desktop and when you again run the uh, docker desktop application then you will see this uh, frame ui whenever you get that right now next step is let's dockerize our asp.net core app so let's switch to the vj studio so click on create new project here you have to be choose the ASP.NET Core Web App Template. Click on Next. Here you have to be choose the application name. Let's choose it as a Demo Docker App. Give it as any suitable name that you want to give it. Click on Next. Here you have options for the framework or application core system environment that you want to use I am using .NET 7.0 that is the standard and then you have they are asking for the authentication type for now just choose it none and configure HTTPS based upon your need and then click on enable docker the moment you check this checkbox you have your docker OS option over there since for this demo I am using the Linux system that I installed earlier so I am using this one okay click on create it will create application for you now just it will take couple of seconds so here we have our application ready right so here you can see we have one docker file with us in the solution explorer right if you open that you will see some configuration or commands in it these are the default commands that we come whenever we choose the docker file over there okay so here if you can carefully look in the run option now you have the different configuration WSDL and here he is also asking for some allow so just click on the allow because docker wants some access to run it and now you will see your docker application will looks like this you can see demo docker app is already over there right now when i click on run uh, as we are talking about the different configuration https is express now you have a docker option over there choose it click on run you will see your docker app is running fine and you will see the status of your application over there once it is running so just wait for it to be run
so here you can see some of the environment variables related to your container demo docker app here you have the ports labels whatever is configured with your app is already showing it over here here you can see your application is running fine as expected right now click on your docker app you will see whatever is used over there you can see over here right so here is your image action so this is a way how you can create your application using the docker configuration you simply need to be choose the option when you are creating it right and over there you have an option for it now let's create one more application right for checking how we can uh, like create the docker support into the existing app so let's choose again the sp.net core web app this time it is a let's name it as old asp app core app right so click on next this time just disable the docker create it let's assume you have some existing app with some configuration right So this is your existing app if you see the configuration now you don't have a docker option in it right now what you need to do is go to the click on the menu option over there add over there now go to the add over there you have a option docker support click on it here they are asking for the options you are getting two options window or linux based upon that just choose it and you have to be click ok let's see ok right now we have an existing app which don't have a docker support you click on the solution explorer i'm again showing the steps go to add over there you have a docker support you choose it and then two options will become either linux or windows whatever you want to choose now you can see you have a docker option over there simply click on run you will also see this app will also run on the different ports this is our first demo app that we used now just wait for it to be built see our container is already created this is the one container for the old core app you will see both the applications are running fine as expected now you can see you have containers for old core app and then the demo core app right so if we have to be conclude this so combination of docker and the asp.net core app empowers the team with the greater flexibility and the portability developers can see, seamlessly integrate their asp.net core app with the docker ecosystem to the package deploy and run the application in the containers as we can see it is only a matter of some steps that we have to follow right and you are good to go so that's it for this lecture in the next lecture we will see how we can build and deploy our applications to the docker platform in this tutorial we will learn how we can integrate docker into your new app as well as into the existing app thanks for watching see you next